Hello everyone. Today we are going to guide you on how to manage leave types in the CAM attendance portal. To begin with, click on master data, then select leave types and click add new on the right top hand side corner. After that, you will see add leave type page on the screen. Now add abbreviation EL leave type name earn leave and for round type select nearest then fill minimum units as half or full day as per your choice and now in effective room choose suitable date from the calendar now under leave policy rule add policy id and el1 and after that in eligibility select location after that in the leave life cycle section add entitled after and select period as days as an example now go to accuracy on and select period for example yearly and month and day as per your choice after that select leave credit basis to fixed add number of leaves as per your need and choose accrual period to current now select pro rata accrual as yes option and expiry as no option after that under leave availment select availment condition to as soon as accrued then add max leave per requests one and select max leave requests in a period to month and add count as one now go to can apply leaves for any future dates and select yes after that move to can apply up to and select 60 days as an example then select apply leaves in advance is mandatory option as yes or no now go to can apply leaves for back dates and select yes and then add can apply up to to 180 days then under encashment rule select allow encashment to no and click on save and add new policy now to move ahead click on add policy under leave policy then add policy id under leave policy rule as el2 after that under eligibility select location and in the leave life cycle add entitled after to 3 as an example then under accuracy on select period month and day as per your choice after that select leave credit basis as fixed or calculate as working days then add number of leaves and select working days according to your choice now click expiry as yes and select expires on yearly then select month and days according to your suitability after that select carry forward as yes or no depending on your choice then under leave availment select availment condition as either as soon as accrued or based on given condition now add availment after as 15 for instance and select period to days then choose allow negative balance as yes and select negative balance unit as fixed and to after that add max leave per requests as one and select month in max leave requests in a period and add count as one now choose can apply leaves for any future dates as yes or no and click on yes in the apply leaves in advance is mandatory then select apply before as per the requirement number of days now under encashment rule choose allow encashment to yes after that add the minimum accumulated leave balance you need to have in order to encash leave then add the maximum number of instances leave can be encashed in a year 
Now add the minimum number of days that can be encashed at a time and the maximum number of days that can be encashed at a time. Then click on save and add new policy and finally click on submit. Thank you for your time and patience. We will see you again in the next tutorial video.